Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is episode 9 of my books, um, of my skin, sledding, and book series. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing Mr. Goodnight by Ben, which is published under My Girls DC Book Divas Publications. See, Mr. Goodnight. I'm going to blow some small lip gloss on first before I get into the review. Anyway, Mr. Goodnight is basically a story about a cab driver. His name is Randall um, Scott, but his friends call him Rand. And they are in, from, the book takes place in Hartford, Connecticut. And then he has a lot of cab drivers. You know, he's a cab driver, so he missed a lot of interesting characters on his um, route. Um, one of his favorite uh, customers is Miss Black, which is who is a model. A young model, very successful, rich, and his ultimate fantasy. Of course, because how uh, how good she looks. He goes on her website all the time, looks at her flicks and all this jazz. And basically, her make her website makes money, so which is quite interesting. Um, so of course, in order to impress her, he makes a um fake. You know how people they make fake profiles, or as the thing, well, MTV has this show Catfish now, make fake profiles and. You know, be able to trip people out of money and shit. That's been going on for a while. But the book is interesting, not just because of that. Um, it's basically how players and players and playettes can be um gamed once in a while. Mm. This cranberry juice is good for gaming. One of the most interesting parts of the book is when a good it's a good it was the phone sex scene, okay? Basically, she had left her phone in a cab, you know, and of course, you being a concerned citizen, he realized, oh, I left my phone in the cab. Well, she left the phone in the cab, so he went past her house to give it to her, and he already imagined, like, damn, he wanted, he wanted to know how it was to be near her or touch her and stuff, so, you know, so basically, he left, and... When he went home and looked at her website, he started, you know, stroking himself, you know, a good solo masturbation thing. I personally like a good solo masturbation thing, you know. Because to me I feel as though in order to get to know yourself or know yourself sexually, you got to, you know, touch yourself once in a while. Or my thing is how you gonna get your partner how you gonna tell your partner where to touch you if you don't know what you like and whatnot. So basically that's how it went down and she didn't realize well, he didn't realize she was still on the phone, but honey, child, honey, that phone sex scene alone was like was very, very quite lovely and nice. Mm. Um, <clears throat> some some more of the juicy details go on in the book. I'm just gonna say, as usual, like a lot of DC book diva publication books, this was a jaw dropper and an OMG moment at the end of the book. Child, I was just like, damn. Anyway, um, I'm definitely glad that you support the books, and I'm definitely going to link this in the um link bar below when I um when I post the video. And I'm just telling you, you got to get this book. It's an awesome book, so you got to get it. And you, um, I also link his book below, and I also will link the website below. Um, if I sound out of it right now, don't mind me. I'm very, very, very tired. I've been going through some stuff, but anyway, um, the book was juicy, and it definitely can um. Happy stimulate. I'll put some get you get you and your partner some um, ideas in the bedroom. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys for supporting a lot of authors. Thank you guys for supporting my channel, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.